a little bit in the early phase, in the mid phase even, but if we can hold off, they can turn this around. But AP Bryn, like you said, going straight for the head, cutting the head off the serpent. What Let's they're go. looking to do, trying to oh. shut him down. You are going to see big setup though. Banana taking the half HP. Kyle Tizzi going in for the kill. Flap Tizzi joining him. We'll take him down. Nether Realm to keep AP Bryn alive. Flap Tizzi will find Irrad with heavy left punch. Two members falling for RQ Hoshi, and the Lord Pit has been controlled by AP Bryn. But can we see RQ Hoshi turn this around? No. Looks like they are going to have to disengage. They don't have the numbers. They don't have the damage. And they're also too far behind in the economy. The Lilia is uh, the bridge for them to get into the late game. Get set up in bombs. But now, how easy wants to fight. Oh my yeah, God. Octa very low, trying to get away. Use the black shoes. Ogwin on the chase, but a massive damage output. Another one going down. Super Marco will find Brusco. Few takes down Octa. Two members down from the side of RRQ Hoshi. Make that a third as Super Marco gets another. Is gonna go ahead and shut down Irad, leaving Skylar and Banana, the side laners who've been dealing so much damage in Game of Futures 2024 by themselves. Oh, AP Bryn, Kyle Tazy will shut down the million dollar baby. Skylar will fall. Banana trying to get away, but running the wrong direction. Looks like he won't be able to contest. They're just gonna let him get out of there. He's not gonna be able to recall back through. Still will get the kill and a full wipeout. This is actually a, a planned assault coming out from RQ Hoshi. And now passing that 11 minute mark, you're looking at RQ Hoshi having full control of this game so far. Hasn't lost a single hurt in this game. And now looking to take the next objective on the board, the Contesto from AP Bryn. A little bit of a knock up, flat TV very low. Entropy going down. Skylar able to get it, but a wild charge from Ogwood into the backside. We'll get the knockup, but no bodies will fall. Mino and Fury from Brusco. Triple set onto AP Bryn. Still fighting it out. Octa will find another. Down goes Kyle Teasy. Super Marco, though, in the fight. Skylar taking down Few. Super Marco and Ogwin by themselves. Few will get back in time. Get the most out of the pass from this uh, Faramis. Now you're looking at RQ Hoshi, trying to seize the opportunity to crack open the base from AP Bryn. For more, Skylar just destroys them. Irad gets the last hit, but you can see them. Skylar, though. Yeah, very low. Can't get around that wall. Gets a kill though. Irad will find Super Marco. Four members falling. Looks like they're going in for the finish. RQ Hoshi looking to turn this game around. Can they do it? The terrify, the knock of Kyle Teezy sustaining himself through all the damage, trying to buy some time. Few will find Skylar. Gets a double. Takes out Banana. Minions are in play, but he will fall a full wipeout on AP Brent RQ Hoshi trying to close it out. Ogwin just needs a few minutes to go. Be ahead uh, up against uh, Kyle TZ, but you are seeing engagement in the mid river. Fire missiles going out, pulling Octa back, and Ogwin with the dive in will shut him down. And now Irrat trying to join the party. Ogwin trying to get away, trying to expand that distance. Last Sanity to the back line, almost connecting. Flaptizzi an inch away, but still getting the kills. Finds Brusco. Ogwin wow. will fall to Banana, but Flaptizzi takes down Skylar for the double kill. Oh my god, Flap. What an amazing way to control this export. That's insanity and uh, second single the fire snakes still on point. You can see it through the replay while another clash is happening. When, look at that. He is the second skill while utilizing the ultimate. And well, it, everybody does that anyways. But the way that he timed it was so good that he caught two members of Arky Hoshi with this additional slow. So, Unbelievable performance coming up from Flap DC to three members or two members of AP Bread, quickly followed by Irad with a taunt. So um, that's really great combos coming up from RQ Hoshi. Yeah, and if you weren't a fan of Indonesia or the Philippines, you definitely should be now. As look at both of these teams fighting their hearts out, trying to claim a spot inside of the grand finals. AP Bryn currently holding that title as the world champions, the best in the world, winning M5 RRQ Hoshi. Rising to the occasion with some new additions yeah. to the team, ready to take the fight and earn that title. Down to the wire, best of three, game number three. One team will be sent home today as we are now crossing that 11 minute mark and both teams getting ready to fight it out at this floor. Great, great minion wave control from Mark Yoshi. There's a slow push in the bottom lane and then they cleared out up top. So they actually have the advantage now in this tournament. dance. Yeah, and there goes the advantage they're looking for. Ogwin rushes in. We'll be able to get out with the mobility provided over there from this R-Lot. Flaptizzi, though, getting to the front line, being a little bit of a nuisance. 
Dealing a lot of damage on the chase on a Brusco. Commits to it. We'll shut him down with the last insanity. Now needs to get back. He does not have the Braga armor. Look at the Lord, though. 25% HP. Cop easy. Use the spatial migration to close the distance. Gets the retribution. Super Marco takes down Irad. And the Lord goes to AP Brin. Gonna go ahead and pull it away. A little bit of a reset for uh, some region on the Lord. Trying to delay and do this Lord dance. Some smart move from the side of AP Brin. They know they want to bait out some of the utility from the side of Araki Hoshi. Wait for an ultimate to proc that they can profit on to be able to engage. Watch out for AP Brin's rotation with Super Marco as well as uh, uh, Super Marco as well as Ogwin. One five position. They're, they're position one and your position five. Going for the concealed play. Might go for that snipe. You gotta be careful if you're Skylar. Yeah, definitely gotta be careful. AP Brin still in position to take this. Very patient. And I gotta give credit to both sides on how they are waiting for the other side to make a mistake. But these are very high IQ plays. They're just waiting. This is the Lord Dance we've been talking about that has been in the Land of Dawn for ages, especially yeah. on this level of competition. <laughs> the Philippines and Indonesia, two of the most competitive oh regions in MOBB history, now fighting it out, raising those banners high. Flak Teasy, though, is going to use that Braga armor rushing in. Does take some serious hits. Entropy may come out. You're going to see few find a kill, though. Just an era. That is huge. Is now RRQ Hoshi does not have the retribution. And what we talked about the one, the position one and position five for AP Bread, the one five punch from the long bush of AP Bread, it paid off. They waited for two minutes, but because of their patience, they took out Irad with that combo. And now, massive advantage for AP Bread, but Kyle is low. Yeah, he wants him. He knows. He has the retribution. Oh, no. He wants oh, him. Oh, no. For Marco takes him down. Two members spawn for RRQ Hoshi. Still looking at a five-man stack. Out from the Philippines, AP Prin still in control of this neutral objective, and it looks like they are going in for the take. Aguam will oh, take down right. Okta. Super Marco finds Brusco, Skylar, and Irad wondering where did we go wrong? Now need to get out of there, but AP Prin on the chase for the kill. Phew! Takes down Skylar, and another will fall, and Super Marco with the mega kill. We'll go ahead and shut down Irad, a full wipeout against RRQ Hoshi. I can't go straight for the juggler this time. They have Beatrix, one of the fastest seizures out there. And there's a, there's only Banana that can defend this. Banana going in and chasing Kaltizi, trying to go for the hero place, but unfortunately wasn't successful. And now he's taken out. That should be it. AP Bread will take this series for sure. Yeah, able to claim this game and keep the Philippines Inside of Game of Futures 2024 as they move on as the first seat in the Grand Finals.